The good news of Jesus Christ according to the Gospel of St. Luke in the second chapter. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they had made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it was told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing good news of great joy. These are the words of an angel of the Lord, one who lives and serves in the presence of God, one who reflects the glory of God, a radiation of wonderfulness, so great and powerful that the experience terrifies those poor shepherds. Out of pastoral care, for those frightened men, the angel consoles them, saying, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. 
Those shepherds certainly needed to hear that. They were seeing and hearing something they had never before encountered. This night is like any other that they had known and would surely be the singular greatest experience of their lives. Terror would not serve them at all. That night was to be a night of joy, faith, and courage for these shepherds who, after Mary and Joseph, were the first believers, and certainly the first evangelists, sharing the good news with none other than Jesus' own parents. Do not be afraid is both an Old and New Testament signal that good news is to come, that God is up to something and salvation is in the works. Those shepherds needed those words. Believers throughout the ages needed to hear those words, and tonight we do too. It is a very human thing to be afraid, to know fear. I do not know what your fear is, but I do know that there is more than enough to go around. We have fears of climate issues, large-scale human migration, economics, politics, so many things in our personal lives. Maybe you are in need of healing tonight. Maybe your heart hurts. Maybe the stress of life is just so much right now. Maybe you are pretending that everything is okay when really it is not. I do not mean to be a downer on Christmas Eve, and there's no need to make an exhaustive list of fears, but in our gospel tonight, the angel speaks, recognizing that we are living life on earth here in reality, and it is necessary to say and hear the words, do not be afraid. That first Christmas night, Mary and Joseph knew fear. They were under the Roman Empire. They knew what oppression was. They were traveling far from friends and family long before cell phones, AAA, emergency rooms. Mary was giving birth as a teenager in the first century. There was no place for them in the inn. Joseph had taken this unwed mother of a child not biologically his as her, his fiance, and this was their first child. There was plenty to be afraid of that Christmas night. That is life, isn't it? But we have to be greater than our fears. We have to go beyond being afraid. We have to live our lives in faith and courage. And to do so, there must be more than just the words, do not be afraid. There must be more. There must be something strong that displaces our fears, that overcomes and transcends, lifts us beyond. And there is. The angel continues, calling us to see that there is Good news of great joy, and that news is news of a birth. Beyond our fears and all the little deaths of spirit that being afraid brings, beyond there is new life again. The angel tells us that for all people there is born a Savior, a Messiah, the Lord. Please note there is no epic struggle, no vetting process, no coronation. The Savior slash Messiah slash Lord is just born. Do not be afraid. God is sending a baby, a short Savior, a mama's boy, Messiah, a little Lord. There's no royal palace, just a manger. There is no royal court, just parents, shepherds, and cattle. There are no royal robes, just bands of cloth swaddling this infant holy, infant lowly. God Almighty comes with no pretensions whatsoever. 
No need to impress. No temptation to pander to popular notions of putting on a grand display. God comes in simplicity, in tenderness, in vulnerability. God comes just like we all do as a baby, a little life. God comes in this way so that in loving this babe in a manger, we might feel the love God feels for us. The love of a parent for a child. Love of grace. Love of forgiveness. Love that gives life. In this baby boy Jesus, God gives us God's very life. This is the good news of great joy that lifts us beyond our fears. Do not be afraid. God's love is born for us, for all people. God's love born for us displaces our fears, but does not take them away. The worries of the world are waiting for us, and they can wait. Tonight, we set it all aside for a moment. Tonight we sing, tonight we pray, tonight we hear the good news of Jesus' birth for us, tonight we receive grace and bread and wine, tonight we light candles in the darkness, light overcomes dark, love overcomes fear, life comes to God's people again in a baby boy, then, now, and always with us. Do not be afraid. For see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy. These are the heavenly words that began the very first ever Christmas Eve sermon. The good news is Jesus, God's Christmas gift to us, for us, with us. But not only us. He is good news for all the people. And with that comes another joy, the joy of sharing him with others. We celebrate Christmas this time of year, but for God, every day is Christmas. Every day, God sends Jesus to a world in fear, a world in need of good news and joy. Every day, God sends us, God's Christmas people, to share the love the light and the life of Mary's baby boy, Jesus. Merry Christmas. Amen. I invite you to please rise.